You always think that you're gonna die from natural causes at age 80 or something. I was only 23. I used to think that you'd choose your fate, but you don't. What Andrew did to me just happened. It's hard to see how it could have gone otherwise. My death might have been a tragedy, but my life wasn't. Some stars are so far from the Earth that their light reaches us long after they're extinguished. Even though I'm gone, I know that the light that was me is still shining. Nancy Eaton, born May 28th, 1961, died January 21st, 1985. Andrew, sorry I'm late. So, why are you here? It's a nice couch. Where'd you get it? Eaton's. Now, why are you here? I'm afraid to go to sleep. I know what I'm going to dream. So what are your dreams about? Andrew. What happened, Andrew? Don't. Go on, tell me what happened. I took a large butcher's knife from the kitchen. It had a sharp blade for trimming fat. It was a big knife, about nine inches. And then? Then I went into the bedroom. She was facing me. She was so pretty. Not she, Andrew. It was me. Say me. You were on your side. You were facing me. Your eyes were closed. And something happened. What? I'm trying to forget. I'm trying to park it out of my mind. Come on, Andrew. You were at the trial. What did they say? I stabbed you. He said I stabbed you. Where? In the skull. And? And in the head, in the chest. How many times? I don't know. What did the coroner say? 21 times. Lunge the knife into you again and again. Blood everywhere, splattering the walls, my face, my hands. 
Why are you doing this to me? I don't know why. Do I scream? Do I try to defend myself? Yes. But? You slumped to the floor. What do I look like, Andrew? Am I still pretty? Your hair. Just clumps of your hair on the bed. Your face. It was like someone smeared it with paint and I want to wipe it off, but I can't. I throw a sheet over it. Am I dead yet? No. I don't think so. What happens next? I try to pull you up on the bed. I'm gonna try hard. I really try to, and you're Penny's rib. Go on. I don't like this part. you and I kiss you and you don't try to stop me you don't try to stop me you let me you let me you let me kiss you just like I've always wanted to oh god Nancy What is it, little bro? I killed you. I killed you. I'm so sorry. No. No, I'm so sorry. No one's ever loved me. No one has ever loved me. No one's ever loved me. No one has ever loved me. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You're not pissed that I'm dead, are you? I mean, you told me to kick him out, but I didn't. I just, I just couldn't. Let's not even talk about that. Oh, Tiger. Tiger, are you all right there? If Dad wanted to put you in the Eaton Mausoleum, but I really put my foot down. I let him choose the coffin, though. He always loved bolts, so I thought he'd pick a good one. Oh, do you know who I ran into the other day? Christy. 
Remember how flat she was? She had smaller boobs than you. Well, my dear, not anymore. Oh, and listen to this. Cynthia's getting a divorce.